Daily Devotion with Pastor Paula for October 1st, 2020, from 2 Kings chapter 9, the anointing of Yehu. Verse 1, Then Elisha the prophet called one of the sons of the prophet and said to him, Tie up your garments and take this flask of oil in your hand and go to Ramoth Gilead. When you arrive, look there for Yehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi, and go in and have him rise from among his fellows and lead him to an inner chamber. Then take the flask of oil and pour it on his head and, says, and say, Thus says the Lord, I anoint you king over Israel. Then open the door and flee. Do not linger. This was a covert mission of sorts. Elisha didn't go, for he would be attracting too much attention. So Elisha delegated a son of the prophet with exact instructions to anoint Yehu and flee. Don't hang around. Again, the design is not to attract too much attention. For Yehu would be king, but the current king wouldn't understand God's need for a change of kingship. Verse 4. So the young man, the servant of the prophet, went to Ramoth Gilead. And when he came, behold, the commanders of the army were in council. And he said, I have a word for you, O commander. And Yehu said, to which of us all? And he said, To you, O commander. Verse 6. So he arose and went into the house, and the young man poured the oil on his head, saying to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I anoint you king over the, the people of the Lord, over Israel. And you shall strike down the house of Ahab, your master, so that I may avenge on Jezebel the blood of my servants, the prophets, and the blood of all the servants of the Lord. Verse 8. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off Ahab every male, bond or free, in Israel. And I will make the house of Ahab like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebet, like the house of Bashia, the son of Ahijah. And the dog shall eat Jezebel in the territory of Jezreel, and none shall bury her. Then he opened the door and fled. God would have punishment upon Ahab and Jezebel, this is why God tells us not to take vengeance upon evil here on earth. God will repay in God's own way. Verse 11, When Yehu came out to the servants of his master, they said to him, Is all well? Why did this mad fellow come to you? And he said to them, You know the fellow and his talk. Yehu was quickly able to dismiss the son of the prophet. You know, those preacher types, they just babble on, right? Or do we actually have the word of God that people need to hear? Well, verse 12. And he, they said, this is not true. Tell us now. And he said, Thus and so he spoke to me, saying, Thus says the Lord, I anoint you king over Israel. What would be the response of the others? Verse 13. Then in haste, every man of them took his garment and put it under him on the bare steps, and they blew the trumpet and proclaimed, Yehu is king. Yehu would begin the Lord's vengeance, and he would begin it the same way that Jesus began his vengeance, so to speak. How and when did Jesus defeat sin, death, and the devil? The devil who hell holds humanity captive? 
Let's go back to Holy Week for a moment. When Jesus enters into Jerusalem and the crowds lay their garments before him as he is riding on a donkey, later that week, what would Jesus do? He would go to the cross and die, defeating humanity's enemies of sin, death, and the devil. Yes, God will have his vengeance on his enemies, but in God's time. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about the secret mission of Yehu. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.